Hello and welcome to one of the top 10 channels on YouTube related to the history of India. I have no idea where that comes from, but that prompted me to do something a little different today. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking a look at some of what the internet has to say about yours truly so I can show you that you can't believe everything that's on YouTube. And this is a perfect example of this. I don't know anything about this site. It's interestedvideos.com. But this is their list of the top 10 history of India YouTube videos. Now, or YouTube channels. Now, I want to scroll down because here we are at number five, vlogging through history. Number one, I have nothing against the history of India. I just don't know much about the history of India. And I've done a couple of videos talking about the history of India uh, that didn't perform all that well on the channel, which is why I haven't done any more recently. But I just want to read the biography of my channel here on interestedvideos.com because it says vlogging through history is a YouTube channel created by historian and vlogger Sam Nixon. Now, no offense to anyone out there whose name might be Sam Nixon or if your name is Sam or if you have the last name Nixon. That is not my name. <laughs> I'm 100% sure that my name is not Sam Nixon. I have no idea where that came from. The channel focuses on the history of India with a focus on education and historical accuracy. Now, I do like to pride myself on getting things right. And when I get things wrong, as I do, I try to post corrections. Uh, Sam provides Sam uh, provides a unique and engaging perspective on Indian history. And his videos have been met with positive reaction from viewers. If you're interested in learning more about the history of India or simply enjoy watching engaging and informative history videos, vlogging through history is worth checking out. Well, I appreciate the endorsement and the shout out. And that's definitely my channel that they're showing in the image there. Um, and let's click on the link and see if it actually takes us to my channel. It does. All right. I mean, there you have it. Yours truly, Sam Nixon, bringing you the history of India. All right. All right. All right. Here's another fun one. This is uh, where they talk about my net worth. Now, granted, the uh, the information here is a little behind. I mean, they show me it's 219,000 subscribers. We're around 335 now. Um, and they show 364 videos. I think I have more like 700 videos at this point. Um, I wish my net worth was $186,000. I can assure you it is not. But here, here's what I want to key in on here. Because this says that I am making $1,000 a day, uh, 7,200 weekly, 29,000 monthly, yearly, $350,000 a year. Man, do I wish I was making that kind of money. Now, I will say this, if I were able to monetize my oversimplified reactions, that might be accurate. But I haven't made any money on the oversimplified reactions. I've made oversimplified a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, if I were able to monetize all of those videos, uh, instead of all that money going right to oversimplified, that might be in the realm of possibility. But now nah, I, I can assure you 100%, I'm not making anywhere near that kind of money on the channel. I wish that I was. And I'm sure that there are plenty of YouTubers out there who are making that kind of money. I'm not one of them. Okay, so here's Wikitubia, which is kind of a Wikipedia of YouTubers. And uh, I don't know where this came from or uh, who put it together, but I'm curious to read it and see how accurate the uh, information is. So uh, Chris created his gaming channel, History Guy Gaming, which was it was actually originally called The History Guy. So those of you who might not be familiar with my channel, uh, I did December 18th, 2016 is when I started my first YouTube channel. It was called The History Guy, and it was intended originally to be a mix of strategy gaming, but also my historic site videos from my travels. Um, about a year and a half after I started the channel, I started getting nasty messages from people saying that I was stealing the identity of the channel, The History Guy, History Deserves to be Remembered. Um, but there was one small problem with that, and that is that my channel actually started like a month or two before his channel did. So I had the name first. And actually, I didn't have the name first. There are actually other channels called The History Guy, older than both of ours. But to keep from there being any hard feelings or any issues, I changed mine to History Guy Gaming 
to prevent that idea, but that didn't really kind of fix it. But it says here, yeah, change the name to History Guy Gaming. Uh, so yeah, this is all 100% accurate. So whoever's updating this is doing a good job. They obviously have paid attention to what I've said. Uh, on April 25th, ooh, exact date, 2022, Chris changed his gaming channel's name to VTH Gaming for the sake of continuity. Accurate. This is pretty good so far. On July 5th, 2020, Vlogging Through History was created. True, I created the channel then. Daily content didn't really start on the channel until December 2020, though. Um, I originally set it up as a way to offload all my stuff from the gaming channel, my historic site video, to the other one. Yeah, because of the pandemic, frequently reacts to videos on historical topics. All true. Hey, this is pretty good so far. He also runs two other YouTube channels, VTH Extra and VTH Originals. Uh, created, blah, blah, yeah. I, hey, kudos to whoever's uh, updating this stuff, man. Chris was born in Ohio, United States. True. Uh, his love history since he was eight years old. His love for history started when Robert Ballard found the Titanic in 1985. Whoever's updating this, man, you guys really pay attention. Good, good job. Studied to be a history professor, but never worked as a full-time teacher. All true. Uh, Chris is a professional genealogist, has written multiple books about various families. He also works as a speaker for Rachel's Challenge, an organization created by Rachel Joy Scott's family dedicated to spreading kindness and compassion in schools. All true. This is good. This is all accurate so far. I like it. Chris is a pastor at Celineville Church of Christ. That is also true. Uh, he has visited every state except Utah and Rhode Island. True. Yep, I'm going to get there one of these days. After initially disagreeing with Mr. Beat about his worst presidents, Chris and Mr. Beat did a collaboration live stream ranking of U.S. presidents for President's Day. Yeah, I like Matt. Matt's a good guy. I, I consider him a friend, and I'm really glad I've gotten to know him and his, his wonderful wife, Shannon. Uh, Chris runs a podcast called the Blogging Through History Podcast. Also true. He's known for mentioning his ancestors and Northeast react Ohio in his reaction videos. It's true. His least favorite president is Woodrow Wilson, and he's made a satirical video on reasons he loves Woodrow Wilson on April Fool's Day. Hey, uh, whoever's updating this, good job. Uh, everything is accurate. So, And then Smith the Cop 11 says, love this dude. Appreciate that, Smith. Love you too. Hey, good job. Wicked, Wicked Tubia. I wish the picture was a little better. That's a picture of me at the Chattanooga National Cemetery in May of 2021 from one of my videos. But uh, hey, good job, whoever put that together. Here's another one I stumbled across. It's tvtropes.org and uh, has a little listing here of me and um, uh, hundreds of other things as well. Uh, the primary channel of, his, channel of historian Chris Mowry, whose videos cover a staggeringly large variety of historical topics. Okay, true. I, I kind of sometimes wish that I had more variety, though, right? Because, you know, it's easy to get to stay in our historical comfort zones. And, and I tend to focus on areas that I know something about. And I feel like sometimes it gets a little repetitive. So I wish I was staggeringly more ver, uh, various in my topics. But um, he identifies as leaning right of center, but fervently avoids discussing modern politics on his channel. True, but I've been straying outside of that here and there lately. Um, other than recently doing a series of videos on Ukrainian history in light of its war with Russia, despite his political leanings, which he has described as being heavily shaped by his devout Christian belief in history as a pastor. True. That definitely shapes my worldview and my political beliefs and my biases. hundred percent. Uh, Chris largely comes across as being very moderate and rational. I hope so. I hope I do. Uh, he openly enjoys Hamilton and Sabaton. Yeah, absolutely. Very disdainful of lost cause revisionism. Yes. And he hates Nazi apologists and Holocaust deniers and instantly deletes them from his comments anytime they show up. 100% true. Uh, in a recent video, he went against his no politics ever rule to take a political compass test. While he expressed some predictably conservative views, pro-life sentiments and interventionism mostly, a substantial number of his other beliefs on gay adoption, welfare, and corporate regulation, among other things, put his final result at center left. I still would argue that test was probably not accurate, and I would be center right overall. But uh, interesting. All right, this should be fun. This is on the... Uh, I don't really do Reddit too much, 
Reddit's not really my thing. My daughter's like really into Reddit. Um, but this is on the At and Shea Films Reddit. And uh, this should be very interesting to read what people have to say about me on there. Uh, I've done my share of bashing of the guy. Uh, they're talking about me vlogging through history. Uh, after his reaction to the Gods and Generals video, yeah, I can see why At and Shea people did not like me very much after that one. And they came after me pretty hard. But seriously, how people here like his videos... I think I understand what that means. Honestly, I think they're really mediocre. His reactions aren't that insightful, and when compared to Mr. Beats, they're abysmal. And his original content isn't anything to write home about. All right, 84% upvoted that, and there's 16 comments afterwards, so let's see what else. I wish he'd make more original content instead of reacting to other people's videos. I find that kind of a lazy way to focus a YouTube channel, to be honest, but overall I don't have a much pro of a problem with him. He's definitely not a lost causer or a wearaboo, and he generally knows what he's talking about. All right, I'll take that. So he gets a pass from me, even if he disagrees with Andy some of the time. Um, edit, his gaming channel, History Guy Gaming, is pretty solid and enjoyable. Well, thank you, RC Tommy, for that couldn't have been easy to defend me at all in such an area where it's pretty hostile to me. What really grinds my gears with him was a comment on the Gods and Generals Part 1 reaction, which... Responding to someone asking if they would ever consider collabing with Ad and Shea, and he said, Mr. Beat and I have very different biases, true, but we'll work together great because we acknowledge them. I would have a difficult time working with Ad and Shea because he believes his views are the only correct ones and that he's not biased, which is just arrogant and a bold statement to make from a person you only know from watching a couple videos. Okay, but I was commenting on his arrogance about being... Uh, anyway... The one he did for the Generals episode of Checkmate Lincolnites was awful. People need to know what these people actually believed and what they were actually fighting for. And while the CSA had very good generals, they lost because they weren't as good as the Union generals who weren't trying to take all the glory for themselves. Yeah. Um, after watching his reaction to Checkmate, YouTube suggested a video of him reacting to Sabaton video. I can't hate the guy. That, albeit indirectly, introduced me to Sabaton, but yeah, he sucks. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I watched a lot of his oversimplified reactions, and since he adds so little, except for stating obvious things, I just watched the oversimplified videos, so I wouldn't have to hear him say, yeah, a lot of people died from diseases during the 30 Years' War. Like, thanks, bro. Great insight. I uh, also watched one of his reactions to the armchair historian and after crapping on his videos the whole time, he says, yeah, these are awesome. And the armchair historian is very knowledgeable. Excuse me. You add almost zilch to whatever it is you comment on and then take pot shots at people who actually put work into their content. And then there's, Hey, donate to me so I can go to Europe and make videos thing. Uh, yeah, whatever, dude, learn to make original high quality content first and then I'll donate something. Honestly, since posting this, my opinion on him went down even more. Guy is pretty much a grifter. All right, cool. All right, let's wash our our mind out from that last one. Uh, here's another Reddit that I stumbled across. Uh, any other vlogging through history fans here? Analytics show they share a decent audience. Um, someone said, I drop in on a few videos every once in a while. Thank you for doing that, Dwight. Um says same i will say he does add a lot of really interesting history info to his reactions vlogging through history introduced me to mr beat awesome so one of the things i really love about the growth that this channel has had is it gives me now a platform to maybe introduce people to channels maybe they haven't discovered yet because you know there's a lot of great channels out there and maybe i can kind of become kind of a central hub for people to find some of those channels even sometimes channels like mr beat that are much bigger than i am um so isn't he just literally a react, Andy? Probably what you know him from, but he does a lot of other stuff as well. Also, I would say he's one of the better, better reaction channels on YouTube. Um, let's see, what else? I saw something else in here. I'll continue this thread. Here we go. Uh, also, he says he uses react videos to fund trips to historical battlefields, which are A-plus content. Thank you, a toxic user. I'm trying to make those better all the time. Excited to bring you the new ones from Eper. Uh, also, political-wise, he's what I imagined a typical non-brain-rotted Republican voter would be like. Now, I will say I'm not a Republican. Um, I do lean conservative, though. Um, I think both parties suck. But, hey, anyway. 
Okay, well, that was fun. Something a little different. I just, for some reason, felt the need to do that after I saw that I was a popular Indian history YouTuber. But uh, if you know of other links of other things that are out there that uh, are either really accurate or really super inaccurate like we've looked at, let me know. If you comment in the uh, comments below and put a link, I'll have to approve it. Uh, it's just a protection thing against spam and stuff like that. So don't feel bad if you put a link and you don't see it appearing in the comments right away. I'll have to go in and manually approve those. But uh, be watching for more content coming in the days to come. Thanks for watching, guys.